Hey, hey, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm your favorite frugal introvert, Jerry. I get paid monthly, but I cash stuff weekly and I'm learning how to both manage my money and how to make more of it. So happy Friday Eve, y'all. I hope y'all are doing well today. Drop down in the comments below and let me know if you have any plans for this weekend. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a sinking funds update for the month of May. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start out with my sinking funds binder right here. So I'm actually, I'm not going to just be doing sinking funds. I'm going to be going over every envelope that I have. So sinking funds and savings challenges as well. So we're going to start off with my new home envelope that started the month of May out with $8,603. And it's ending the month with 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 920, 930, 940, 945, 947, 949. So $8,949 in new home. So that is a $346 difference. So if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, I will link it in the cards above, but I did finish seven challenges for May and I added them all to this new home envelope. Next is new whip, this is for a new car. That started May with $831 and it's ending May with 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 20, 25, 30, 31. So $931. I'm gonna swap these two fives out for a 10. So this, I guess, will kind of be like a little bill condensing video. If I find any envelopes that need to be condensed, I'll do that. But I don't suspect that I'll really find that many. Yeah, I've been doing a pretty good job of um, doing the condensing on camera. Let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 31. 9, 31. Next envelope is my emergency fund. That started the month out with $10,535. And it's ending the month with $5,000 in an I-bond. And then in the bank, $5,000, $5,500, $5,600, $5,700, $5,750, $5,800, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900, $5,900,
which is a negative $101 difference. So I did have to use some money out of here. I bought new binders and things like that, savings challenges. So that's why this one took a hit. Next is Uncle Sam. This is for my taxes. So this started with $399 and this is ending with one, two, three, 54, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 87, 89, 91, 92. So 400 and 92. Wait, do I really have that much here? No. Three, four, 20, 40, Wait, why do I have so much in here? Did I add an extra 50 in here by accident? Or maybe when I added the 50, like there were two of them stuck together. That's the only reason why I can see myself adding an extra 50. So I'm gonna take the 50 out, cause that's wrong. All right, so one, two, three, 50, 70, 90, 4, 10, 30, 35, 37, 39, 41, 42. So 442 dollars. Let's keep the two. Let's keep the twenties. Let's keep these. And then we're gonna swap this out for a 100. Okay. So one, two, three, four, 20, 42. All right, next up is fun. So that started with $63. And it's ending with 50, 60, 65, 67, 69 dollars. So that's only a six dollar difference, but it's okay. I used some of that money so I could buy some board games for our um, weekly game nights. Lastly, in this, oh no, not lastly, but next is giving. So this used to be YouTube. So this envelope was specifically, um, or is specifically to buy like giveaway prizes and things like that for you guys. But I changed it to giving instead of YouTube. So giving started with $147, it's ending with 1, 20, 40, 5, 50, 50, 1, 20, 40, 45, 52, 152. Y'all, what is going on? I didn't take out the two, I mean the five, I guess. I was supposed to take out $5 one day and I, I don't think I took it out, so. 1, 20, 40, 45, 47. See, this is why I do this. I can make sure that my envelopes are matching what's in my ally buckets. So lastly in this binder is vacations. That started the month with $704 and it's ending with 5, 6, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 6, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 87, 89, 689. What? You know what? I think I know why some of these are off. Because I pre filled the trackers, but you guys remember when I took like that two week break and I never ended up recording videos. So because I didn't record those videos, I didn't actually do the cash stuffing. So I think that's why some of these are off because I was supposed to add $15 on one of those days that I was supposed to do the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 704 in here. This actually does match my, my ally bucket though. So five, six, I'm gonna keep the twos and then I'm gonna get a $100 placeholder. Okay, so five, six, seven, 702, 704. All right, so we are done with this binder. So we're actually almost done with all the sinking funds. The last sinking funds binder is my occasions binder. This binder should be right. All right, so anniversary started with $21 and it's ending with $21. So no change. Birthday started with $77 and it's ending with 50, 70, 75, $77, so no change. I did add to Christmas. So it started out with $89 and it's ending with 100, 150, 170, 180, 185, 187, 189. So that's a $100 difference. So I finished my Christmas savings challenge. That was $100 and I added it to here. Next is Deuce's birthday. He's my partner and he started out with $50 and he's got $70 now. So that's a $20 change. 
It's his parents' days. That's Mother's Day and Father's Day. That started the month out with $238, and it's ending with $100, $150, $170, $180, $185, $187, $189. So that is a negative $49 difference. So we've got Thanksgiving. That started with $8, and it's ending with the same $8, so no difference there. Although I probably should start adding a little bit in here. I don't really know what my plans are for Thanksgiving. I think I'm going home to visit my family. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's that's kind of a long way away. But I mean, it's also kind of like right around the corner. <laughs> so I don't know. I have to start thinking about this soon. All right. Lastly, in here is Valentine's Day. That started with $20 and it's ending with that same $20. So no difference there. All right, so those are all of my sinking funds. Now let's move on to counting the savings challenges. So these are gonna be a little bit different because I don't know what I started the month out with for these. So yeah, I'm just gonna count them. All right, so this is my struggle stuffing binder. So if you guys are new, um, be sure to check out my struggle stuffings every Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I've got my teddy bear challenge. That's by It's D Bankroll. I've got $10 currently in that one. My summer fun savings challenge in my Etsy shop, that's got $3 in that one. This one comes in a bundle of three. Nothing in that one, so I've gotta find a new challenge for this one. So my second summer fun challenge, that one has 10, 12, $14. My squirrel challenge by Rebecca over at Here to Their Journey. This one has 20, 30, 32. $33. My St. Patrick's Day challenge, or my gnome challenge, this one has $22. Lastly, my Show Me the Love challenge by Veronica over at 40 Plus Life. This one has 100, 120, 125, 127. So at the end, I will total up all of my savings challenges and let you know exactly how much I have in all of these. So this binder and the black binder, I stub these binders every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so this savings challenge is by Cursive and Prince. I've got $25 in here. This is my $500 savings challenge. So this one's definitely gonna take a little bit longer, but it's okay, we'll get there. My $80 teddy bear challenge by uh, Iski Bankroll. This one has 20, 30, 35. My terrific job on savings by my budget bestie, Jesse over at Jesse Budgets. This one has 35 as well. I'm using all of these challenges to fund that new home envelope. My do your way out of debt challenge by Toya over at, well, she used to be tidy with Toya, but now it's Toya's Tenacious Life. This one has $52. And I'll have everybody's channels listed below in the description box. I don't know why this envelope is like so snug. All right, so I am actually gonna be bringing back my save or no save challenge. I really like this game, so I decided I'm gonna bring it back. So you guys will see me play this in Friday's video, so stay tuned for that. All right, the lily pad challenge. This is by Jenny over at Simply Living Saves. That has 20, 30, 32, $33. My YouTube savings challenge. This is by Jenny over at Budget with Jenny. That one has 20, 22. $24 and my Mega Money Mall by Wendy over at the Thrifty Sois that has $40. So these challenges are really adding up. And most of these actually started just this month. All right, last binder. So most of these are gonna be empty because these are all of the monthly challenges that I um, that I've been doing. And so I finished all the monthly challenges yes in yesterday's video and I added them to that new home binder. So now these are the new challenges that I'm gonna be doing for June. So I've got my June strawberry challenge. So these are all my monthly front fruits. So I have all of these cut uh, printed and cut out because I was working on a custom order and I ended up not using these because I didn't like them because as you can see, like some of the edges are cut off. Like this one has more of the border on that side than this side. Um, and then some of them have more border at the bottom than at the top. So I ended up not using them, but I'm gonna use them for my videos. 
So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what these look like. So these, you will get an entire bundle, it's four sheets. And so you'll have January through December. So yeah, I didn't print them all out, but yeah, these are in my Etsy shop. So I'll be doing June this month. I'm just gonna go ahead and take all these out and just put the June back in. All right, so I've got my June roses, my Gemini challenge, my June pearl necklace challenge, my June monthly challenge, and then my June pearl heart challenge. So yeah, all of these are individual bundles. All right, so this is my $200 challenge that I got with my um, my binder. So this is my Leo binder. I got this from Soul Mama Rituals and Crafts, and this came with it. So I've got $50 in there currently. My $121 challenge, I'm trying to finish this bundle, but this one has $5. And then my prettiest purple challenge, I got this from Cheyenne over at Mama Bear Budgets. And I have got $50 in here. And I started all of these just this month. All right, so we've counted everything up. So I'm gonna meet you over at my MacBook so we can look at that spreadsheet and see what my totals are. All right guys, so this is what I was actually looking at when I was giving you guys the differences. So I already had everything pre-filled. So I'm gonna scroll down. So I started May with $29,060 in all of my sinking funds. And I ended May with $29,524 in my sinking funds, which is a $464 difference, y'all. I am so close to being at that $30,000 mark. So I'm super excited about that. In terms of my savings challenges, I have a total of $558 in all those savings challenges that I counted up. So total in all of my envelopes, I have $30,082 if you count my sinking funds plus my savings challenges. And I started with $29,060. So that is a total that is a difference of $1,022 that I've added for the month of May. So I am stoked about that, y'all. Lastly, down here, I know you guys see this column that says other. So this is the only way that I'm able to really keep track of everything in my Ally account with the buckets. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Ally, you have one savings account, you have your core savings, and then they allow you to create 10 different buckets within that savings account so that you can kind of like separate all of your sinking funds. But I have, as you can see, way more than 10 sinking funds. So I've got pretty much like nine primary sinking funds buckets and then one bucket called other. So that's where all the rest of my sinking funds go, including my savings challenges. So I'll let you guys know which are my nine primary buckets and then which ones go in the other bucket. So my nine primary buckets excluding the emergency fund. So my emergency fund is basically like that core savings account. And then my nine buckets are home, new whip, car maintenance, medical, subscriptions, car insurance, debt. Business is a checking account, so I don't include that one. Um, Uncle Sam, I think, yeah. And then vacations. So I believe that's nine, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I count that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so those are my nine primary um, buckets in Ally. And then everything else pretty much is in the other. So if I double click on other, oops, yep. It'll show you what's uh, highlighted. So household, personal, fun, giving. Uh, let's see what else. And then all of my occasions, binder, anniversaries, birthdays, Christmas, Deuce's birthday, parents' day is Thanksgiving, uh, Valentine's Day. Ooh, savings challenges. Oh, I forgot to include savings challenges. Savings challenges should be in that other. Uh-oh.
Ooh, okay. I probably included a screenshot of that other bucket on here somewhere, or if I haven't done it already, I'll include it now. But that's gonna be significantly lower than what I actually have in here because I forgot to include the savings challenges in that other bucket. So I'm actually supposed to have $1,477 in that bucket. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I only had like, what was it, 900? Yeah, $919. So you guys are gonna see a screenshot of that. But I will go in later and update that to match the um, the $1,477. So that's a change from last month of $626. So hopefully you guys understand, hopefully I, I'm making sense. But if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to um, address any of those questions. But yeah, that was pretty much it for this video, you guys. I appreciate you being here and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss another upload. I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe, be blessed, and until next time, peace.